Hey, what's up everybody? In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to use Revolut Joint. Uh, so these are going to be the parts on your course. Remember I said you need to have one animated part, something that moves. So it can be either spinning, which would use Revolut, or using something like slider. That would probably be another really good uh, joint to use. So in our case, I'm going to go ahead and just show you what I have developed for this. Um, it's just going to be a spinning sort of cylinder and we have some baffle plates on the top. Uh, but what we have to understand first is how did I create this? All right, so I'm going to come in here and inspect this. So I can see that the diameter on this is 60 inches. Um, and then we can see that the depth of this, I made this was one inch. Uh, and then we have a cylinder at the bottom we're going to use as a peg. Um, <clears throat> and that is going to be a diameter of six. And the inspect is going to say that the depth on that is six. All right, so 60 inch diameter, depth of one inch, cylinder on the bottom, that's six inch diameter with a depth of six. All right, so what I wanna do is, <clears throat> jumping over here into my course, is I wanna put a place where this is going to go. <clears throat> Since I want the face of the top of my disc uh, to be you know, sort of flush uh, with my current surface, I have to make a pocket for this to sit in. So I'm gonna create a sketch, and I'm going to come out here and draw my circle. This is gonna be a 60 inch diameter. I'm going to finish the sketch, I'm going to do an extrude, and I'm just going to cut this down <clears throat> one inch. All right, so that's the pocket. Now I need a hole for that cylinder to actually sit in, so I'm going to create a sketch on that surface. I'm going to create my circle, <clears throat> that's a diameter of six, and now I'm going to extrude this down a distance of negative six inches. Okay, that's gonna be a cut. All right, so I have that pocket ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is actually come here, bring my part in. Okay, I'm going to pull this off of the origin. I'm going to say okay. And now I'm going to be jumping over and going into <clears throat> our joint environment. So I'm going to switch my motion, because the last one I used was slider. I'm going to switch this over to Revolute. I'm going to go to position, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to be finding that exact center at the top of the cylinder. I'm going to jump over. <clears throat> I'm going to, have to put that joint right here at the top of the hole, which would be this point right here. And now I can see how that's actually going to spin. I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, we can manually move this ourselves. Okay. Or we could actually put this on a motion link with like a slider wall or something. We can get those to work together. Okay. But if you ever want to see this actually work, okay, you can come in here. First off, we can rename this and we can just say, this is my merry-go-round spinner. Okay, and now I can right click on it. I can animate the model. All right, and we can see how that's actually going to spin. All right, so there you go. That's how you use Revolut Joint okay, for your miniature golf course project.